Well, how's it going, everybody? My name is Fox Soul, and welcome back to another Lords of the Fallen video. I want to first and thanks everybody for watching, you know, the videos with the Grim Reaper and such to where we were cheesing them. But today I want to do a little bit something different. I want to go ahead and show you how to get what I'm wearing right now, which is the Berserk Armor minus the helmet, because this helmet comes from the Light Reaper. We need to get the Harrow Armor, the Gauntlets and Leggings which allows you to look like Gatsu. Now, granted, my character doesn't look like Guts because of the minimized <laughs> uh, situation of, you know, the character customization compared to that true Dark Souls. But just to show you, we're going to take a quick little run and just teleport to the boss fight that you need to do to get this. So when you're in the caves, you want to be heading down in this direction. So progress like you normally would for the game. Open the shortcut. And keep making your way down. Making your way down, down. And then we're gonna come over here. I would recommend putting a seedling here, just for in case. And we need to fight the prisoner boss right here. Once you beat this boss, I would rest up and after resting, we will make our way this way. Now this has already been completed. I just did this in the live stream, but you're going to want to come here. Oh shoot. Oh shoot. Oh shoot. And come into that room right there. And there's a door in there that allow you to get to go ahead and drain the water that's in this level. So once the water is drained, bang a boom, you can grab yourself an item that's right here. And we're going to make our way into here. Try not to die. And now you're in the area where we're going to be having a little bit of darkness issue, which I do apologize. I can't really seem to brighten up the stream as well as I want to for some reason. But this is the area that you're going to want to come into and you want to make your, your way down. I'm going to try here the first time to see if we can go ahead and make it all the way down. I want to get this off my menu because I'm going to complain about that a hundred times. If I pick up an item, I don't want it to be automatically placed in my quick time slot here. I rather have that sucker to where I, I rather have my quick slots only to where I can put the items in. I can see we already lit that. We're going to go ahead. Go ahead. We got to have to go into the Umber world for this. I recommend healing just for encasement purposes. Roll. Lower this down and then jump down. That's the reason why I want to do that because there's a gargoyle down here. There is so much crap that's down here that wants to kill me. When I first came through this, this was holy hell. Like, I I'm sorry. I felt like this was hell. So we're just taking a quick pathing here. We can quickly like this. That way we can make the stream a little bit brighter. And we're going to make our way here. Now, before you go ahead and continue, take this elevator. This will lead you to getting another item and opening up the shortcut that leads here. So once you're here, there should be an item here that you can grab, which is right here. Grab it, open this door, and take a look where we're at. This is a quick rest. Now, now that is done. We make our way back down this elevator. I'm gonna put my hood on because I want to look like the Black Swordsman, bro. And currently at this time, I am level 86. And that is straight up from us doing the, uh, the Grim Reaper cheese. Red Reaper cheese. Getting his eyeball and everything so that way we go to Umbra World, we can make the lower level enemies scared of us. 
And we're just gonna continue on this way. Just keep on running. Don't worry about the gargoyles. Don't worry about the enemies. Don't worry by this time if you have enough health. You should be able to drop down here, for example. And just heal it. Just heal it. This is how I did it originally. And I'm gonna do it exactly the same way. Okay, you gotta have a little sharpshooter here. Item there if you wanna grab it, which I didn't grab. Jump down. Heal. Now there's a shortcut right here that open. Oh. Let's push everything off. And let's go this way. You want to take the cave right here. Because that bridge is normally upward, so that shortcut's normally up and you have to kick it down. Let's keep running. Don't worry about none of these crapolas. Don't worry about fucking cum shooter. Jump here. Very important you jump. You can put a seed patching right here. If you're not too confident that you're gonna make it through here. There's another item that's in there which we're not gonna grab. Because we won't we won't want to make this video too long. And then right here, you open that shortcut right there. Damn. It's gonna lead you into a cavernous area, which basically it is straight. It is straightforward. We'll make one more attempt to run on this now that we have that short, since we already had that shortcut open. I just wanted to show you quickly the route. So let's give it a second here. Mm-hmm. Waiting for this chain to come up. Waiting, 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 waiting. I'll tell you what, I am enjoying myself with this game. I don't like how people are like comparing this to Elden Ring. That's the only thing, and I think I'm gonna actually make a video about, you know, it's not fair to compare this game to Elden Ring. Because you got a lot of people that I've watched a few videos on, I've been reading on Reddit and Twitter. I was like, ah, this game sucks compared to Elden Ring. Elden Ring is a better game. And legitimately, yes, you are correct. Elden Ring was a very, very polished game. This game, I would never compare it to Elden Ring. Never. This is a game that I would, if I were to compare it to anything. Hmm. Oh, I could drop right here. I didn't know that. I never looked, actually. What's this? Um, ammo pouches and such. Oh, look, look where it leads us to. See, you can bypass all this crap up here. Okay. Oh, look, we just learned something new there, folks. You can drop right there and you can still make it down here. I would recommend healing here, get full health here. At this point, I would recommend having full health. Just for the dropage. Now, since we died. Let's just say we opened up the shortcut, even though we died right there. I'm not worried about no four souls. There's another seed patching, which we're just going to go ahead and rest real quick. I forgot I left that here. Now. This is very straightforward right here from this point. Oh, wait, wrong spot. I got turned around. It is this way. This is very straightforward, in my personal opinion. Just, I know it's dark. Just keep running until you reach right here. Wait for, you don't even have to wait for this guy to break the thing open. You could just make a run right here to the side. Come here. Dodge, climb down. Use your vulnerability frames, slide down. And we're almost home free. Fall. Fall. If you can heal, it's not necessary. And there's a shortcut right there above me. That leads you straight back to the top too. So that way you don't have to go all that all over again. But you rest here. And now it is time. 
it is time to go get our berserker armor for the second time i'll let this i'll let this boss uh screen play out another unfortunate made a slave to unceasing hunger i pity you but as bleak as this refuge may be it is our refuge nonetheless Welcome here. Alrighty. So this boss fight really isn't too bad. We're going to be really using the pillars to our advantage here. And if you got the enhanced lump hammer, guess what? Cheese. 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 Cheese this bitch. Show her what it's like to be part of fucking goddamn Mario's fucking crew. Ow. Heal. Jeez. Are you running? Bitch was healing. That's the first I saw that because typically she healed in the beginning. All right. Second phase. Ah, I missed my opportunity to heal. Damn, she looks like Baraka. Yo, I like in the background, you can see the red aura from my head. Like, I don't give a fuck. I'm going to kill you. <laughs> now this fight, this fight's a little bit more, I've died here on the second phase, but once we beat this boss, we get ourselves the Berserker armor. So it's going down. Oh, shoot, I didn't dodge. First hit for us. Ouch. I mean, I don't actually find this boss too bad. I'm just not dodging properly. Run. You can also get that spell from her. What the heck? I don't know what the heck hit me there. This is why I like to get ammo pouches before I go to any kind of boss fight. Because if you want to cheese it, because I'm not going to fight normally until we get to New Game Plus. the bitch and it's over 
We still got six ammo packs. And it would have been better if I would have healed a little bit better. Dodged a little bit more. But you guys could do that. Not believing you. Got a few items for that fight. We need to go in the Umber World. And you get 21k for this fight. So this fight's worth it alone just for the fucking souls. Get the Memorance. If I'm not mistaken, this is the, also the way to get the Umbro ending. Not too sure, right off hand. But I think that's how you get it. I haven't gone for it yet. And I'm not gonna go do research on it just yet to go see if that is actually what the case. Hey buddy, how you doing? Scared? I would be too. Just notice, these things are glowing. Hmm. I'm sure we have to come back here if we're gonna go for the Umbro ending. Yep, how you guys doing? You guys doing great? Hey, that's awesome. Hey, let me grab this real quick for me, okay? I said, let me grab this real quick for me, okay? I just want the dagger. That's it. Can't have all, you can't have too much enemy, uh, can't have too much weapons. We're gonna upgrade real quick. I wanna put this also, see vitality's fine. So we're gonna go into endurance. Actually, yeah, I won't put this in endurance. I won't get endurance up to 20. Oh, I gotta put this also into agility. Warp, and let's go Sky Rest. <clears throat> now, with that boss fight and everything done, here you go. Your reward. Come over here. Give this guy the memberance. And there is the Berserker armor. everything you need and if you're into spells these are the two spells that it's got right now which is Marthenome or whatever some giant nails from under uh, beneath the ground damaging enemies in this vicinity or launch several orbs of umbral magic with uh, explosive impact not too fascinated with them now this armor set right here that I'm wearing is the berserker armor it is guts. Everything about this is guts. Like, I'm sorry. Look at it. Like, it's a little bit of a change here and there. But once you also beat Monsieur Light Reaper, and you put this on, there you go. The original helm actually looks like this, which. I don't quite care for it, to be honest. I mean, it kind of makes you look kind of like, I guess, like Skull Knight. But with Guts' Eternal Rage, and you put this helmet on right here, I feel like this is truly, looks like the Berserker armor. I feel like it works perfectly well. So, hopefully this video helps you guys out. Um, sorry, it's a little bit longer than normal, uh, close to like 20 minutes, but I just wanted to show you and I wanted to stop my live stream to go ahead and do this boss fight so that way for future purposes if you are trying to get the guts armor for cosplay purposes as well as to you know play around with here you go so if this helped you out and you don't mind could you leave me a, uh, a like a follow and subscribe to the channel and come join us on a live stream to come tell me if you were able to accomplish this and how you like the armor so otherwise than that guys take it easy have fun in the Lords of the Fallen, and we'll make another video here soon enough. All right. Adios.